Alright, so these are those plug wire separators, the clamps. I got a bunch of them. And I'm just kind of mocking something up right now. It's it's not a very simple DIY. It looks easy, but you really got to kind of visualize what you want to put together. So uh, I'm using some tape right now to kind of hold some pieces together. These are the black fiberglass uh, tent poles and they're about 9.5 millimeters which is you know as you could see well maybe you can't see but the clamps aren't actually down completely so you don't need 10 millimeter these are 9.5 and uh, you can actually go a bit smaller and they'll still clamp down um, so anyways this is kind of what I've been working on right now uh, this guy's gonna get cut down a bit shorter but this came off of that $20 shoulder rig that I showed everyone a long time ago um, so I'm gonna put some some padding under here this will go you know on your shoulder um, I'm probably gonna cut it off over here and mount maybe something here or maybe the zoom in the back here act as a counterweight uh, this rod right here you can see the tent pole ends I need to cut off but that's kind of where it's starting out right now and for the handles um, I'm probably going to replace these bolts here and go directly into a handle something like those uh, jump rope handles that I showed a long time ago on the twenty dollar shoulder rig so that's kind of the start I don't know if that looks like anything on this video So I'm, yeah, I'm still kind of working on it. Uh, there's going to be two more rods going in the front here, which I'll make a 90 degree clamp using two different clamps, but I need a longer bolt that goes through both of them. That way I can mount one this way and one this way. And that will get these handlebars to hold here. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, you know, it's not 15 millimeter standard, but, you know, you have a lot of flexibility if you if you think about it before you build it uh, everything is adjustable like this here this offset here can move forward and back just loosening up the clamps um, you know your shoulder rest here you can get it so that it moves forward and back depending on who's using it and the handles as well can move in and out so this kind of configuration it's not dirt cheap you know the poles are fairly cheap it's about seven dollars a set um, I still have a lot more left because I was cutting them down the clamps though I think you're gonna spend about sixty dollars in clamps at least so you can see what I have on here now and then I have some extra ones over here so I definitely have enough to do you know basic shoulder rig and those smaller clamps are gonna go in here to help me mount some of the accessories again probably the zoom over here and a microphone off to the side here uh, I don't think this is going to support uh, an LCD, but it'll definitely support your camera with, uh, you know, your LCD viewfinder, especially if you're doing like a T2i or 550D. That's a lightweight camera. Um, and right now I'm filming with the uh, Sony NEX, so this camera would work great on it too. So anyways, that's kind of the mock-up so far. Um, I haven't measured all, all the poles yet. In case people are wondering what they're going to do but um, yeah one of the cool things I was thinking of was just putting this shoulder mount here and then adding some counterweight that's it so far it's all held in with some uh, tape to try to mock everything up so I can get all the measurements down but um, I did mount a camera to this area which this will have a quick release plate and yeah I mean it's uh, it works it's uh, fairly nice so you know if you want to take the time cut fiberglass rods measure everything out buy the clamps um, I mean you know they don't just fit perfectly you're already up 
at least a hundred dollars and you're not putting a quick release plate so this is really just like a hobby thing this is not going to save anybody any more money than you know buying a real 15 millimeter standard rod rig but uh, this is definitely a lot of fun to play with and something really different which would complement some of those smaller four-thirds cameras like the GH1 so uh, I'll show more when I get more bolts and handles and all that other stuff might take me a while though <laughs> 